was good, team. So I am proud to announce that 4K Media just sent me an exclusive clip for Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimension set to release January 27th this month. So I would love for you new subscribers that are viewing the video right now to hit the subscribe button and come back at the on the 27th to watch my review of Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimensions. And stay to the end of the clip to have a few discussions on the cards being released in this video. So as I always tell my subscribers, without further ado, let's begin. Let's duel! I'll do the honors. I draw! What's this? I can summon my high-level monsters without paying any cost? Correct. In this duel, you won't be summoning monsters in the normal fashion. You'll be dimension summoning. Furthermore, you are allowed to choose how many attack and defense points each of your monsters have. And how do I do that exactly? By infusing your spirit energy. But you can't exceed your monster's original point total. Fine then, these new rules will make crushing you simpler than before! Here goes! I Dimension Summon! Rise up! spirited your monster's attack points to the max, but there's something you should know in a dimension duel. If your monster's destroyed, you don't take battle damage. You take damage equal to its attack points. Speaking of monsters, it's time to bring out one of mine. And as you can see, it's a look! Feast your eyes on Vidom, the cubic seed! Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions. Rated PG. In theaters January 27th. Alright guys, that was an amazing clip sent from 4K Media. I want to say thank you to 4K Media once again. Let's take a look at some of these cards that was previewed in um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimensions clip. First off, I want to talk about Vijim the Cubic Seed, the one the bad guy Agami used. His zero attack, zero defense. He's a fiend type monster. Really cute slash ugly type of card. Pretty good artwork by the way. It was released in a movie pack that came out not too long ago. His effect base of the reads kind of be destroyed by battle. At the end of the damage step, if this card battle an opponent's monster, you can place this card face up in your spell and trap card zone and it's a continuous spell card. And if you do, place one cubic counter on that opponent's monster. Monsters with a cubic counter cannot attack and also negate their effects. If this card is treated as a continuous spell card by this effect during your main phase, you can special summon this card from your spell and trap card zone. So that's pretty good because this card is pretty much a Phoenix Chain on legs. Zero attack, zero defense. Really good monster, and I can see why he brought it out against Seto Kaiba. Next up, we have um, Kaiba's monster. Not too much to talk about, and that is Crystal Dragon. Amazing artwork, by the way. I see why um, he's in the movie. Really shiny. Six stars, light monster, 2,500 attack, 1,000 defense. Once per turn, during your battle step, if this card battles this turn, you can add one level 8 dragon type monster in your deck to your hand. So this can be used in the current Blue Eyes White Dragon deck if you do bring it out via cards like Red Eyes Blackness Metal Dragon. But with that being said, it's not that great. It's a little inconsistent in the current meta but for a TV show card. It is pretty amazing. So this is like my mini review for um, Crystal Dragon and um, Vigil and Cubic Sea. Cannot wait to go see the new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie set to release January 27th. And you guys can also go down in the description and buy your tickets for the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. So as I always say, if you're new here to the channel, I would love for you to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. I upload mainly three days a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I might have a video uploaded here and there. So, this is Christmas Team Innovation, and I am signing out. Peace, guys, and stay innovative. Deuces.